Dr. Arun here and uh, we are just coming towards the fag end of our three days hair restoration workshop and we are still not finished. No. Have we? No. We still have a patient in the OT and we still have to do a lot of work. Uh, but then uh, in between we were just having lunch and we thought why not we finish our ritual here. So uh, we have uh, three surgeons with us this time who came to attend our workshop. One is Dr. Sonam, she is a dermat, she is from Mumbai. Dr. Harsha and Dr. Deepa are from uh, Karnataka, Davangiri. Yes, sir. Uh, you are 10 years junior to me in macrofacial yes, surgery. Sir. 10 years, wow. <laughs> That's nice. So, people 10 years, 7 juniors are also now coming up. Well, that's a good idea to, you know, kind of venture into hair transplant. So, as a ritual, we should, uh, you know, kind of understand from these young doctors uh, how they felt about our workshop and how was it. They have always been smiling. <laughs> so, let us try and understand how this uh, three days uh, went by and could you achieve what you uh, wanted, what your expectation was. Let us try and understand first. Uh, we'll go to Dr. Uh, Harsha first. Yes, sir. So he is from Davangiri, and uh, let's hear from you. Uh, let yeah. let our uh, viewers hear from you. What exactly? Yeah. Hello, everyone. I'm Dr. Harsha. Uh, I'm practicing as a maxillofacial surgeon from 13 years. I have come from Davangiri to learn the hair transplant from Dr. Arun sir. So I was looking for the best center throughout the India. Wherever I was, uh, the best center is there. I was ready to come and. Uh, to learn the things. Uh, just uh, like I, when I started my search, uh, through a lot of research I came to know about the serve and uh, then I joined here. So I had some uh, expectation that uh, once I complete my course at least I should be confident to perform the things and I had a lot of doubts into my mind. I had uh, thinking that once after the course like it won't be the end. Again we have to go for the further lot of uh, again the few more uh, courses. But I feel my search ends here because uh, uh, the mentor, what type I wanted, uh, I got uh, really um, very humble and uh, uh, very supportive and uh, ready to support in uh, maxillofacial to the any extent. So I'm really happy in that way that uh, even uh, I can, when I start my practice, uh, so I want to start with Arun sir in my future. Thank you. So, uh, I mean, uh, what is more important is, uh, you know, it's very important for the young generation to incorporate this into our speciality. Yeah? So, my uh, question to Dr. Harsha is, yes, after sir. this workshop, are you confident to start your practice? Ma'am, uh, whatever the, the doubt was uh, had, uh, most of the things it solved. But of course, once I put my hand into the patient, I think... It's going to take a while, it's going to take, yeah. of course, the practice. But, but if I you have, have the confidence, confidence yeah. yes, I can go and start. Yeah, that's That confidence important. I got. Yeah. And it's always we need a mentor for uh, uh, any like uh, planning of the surgery and uh, on the, of any like requirement of the instruments or uh, your surgical plans, yeah. all these things. That is also very essential yeah. for anyone to learn and to, once they want to come to the practice. So I found it is like uh, it's the best center where you can learn and you can take uh, the, any kind of a doubts if you have. You can sort out everything with sir and you can start your practice with 100% confidence. That's yes. nice. Thank you so much. It was a real uh, humble and honest opinion. I really appreciate that. So Dr. Deepa has been talking about a lot of research and now she says that once she goes back from here, she is going to do a lot of research work into her practice and she wants to incorporate into her practice. So what do you have to say, uh, Dr. Deepa? I mean, you are always been uh, so this thing about research work and of course, like, this is a surgical work. I'm sure you are going to be doing it. So how was your three days and uh, there? <laughs> Greatly thankful to the Almighty that he has created Dr. Arun sir and uh, Dr. Arti man. It's not easy thing uh, that they have learned it and uh, got it to our India. That is the main thing. Everyone has to incorporate uh, the whatever good things are there, which is uh, uh, of which we can do it. And uh, lately, it's the second one thing is uh, I am thankful to my brother who made me to meet a real human being, and uh, uh, they have taken me uh, into the consideration uh, to give me uh, That's patience. Okay. So also. what I am telling is, how confident are you now? Yeah. That is more important. <laughs> yeah. And you. Yeah, I 
because uh, I am basically um, a oral maxillofacial pathologist and PhD in cancer research project and now going to the cosmetology and uh, I wanted to do with the non-surgical things but uh, surgical as a cancer gave me confidence that I can do many things in non-surgical also and sir is more interested both the uh, optimum research. and research sir is uh, more interested in uh, research and so many things are available in this uh, uh, clinic that we can do lots of research and we can find uh, non-invasive technique and we can do much of the better things here. So that's what I realized here and I'm really grateful to my colleague also and staff so very cooperative and very nice. I've got a nice and smile <laughs> I must say always <laughs> smiling and that's very important for the patients you know. Uh, and uh, above all, when I was learning here, it was uh, stress-free. I had that consciousness that uh, these are all surgeons, surgeons. But uh, the thing which was taken care, just like for a kid, but I do also mistake. Uh, he was so confident that uh, he 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 made me so much confident that I can perform the things whichever is into my limits uh, perfectly. Uh, that was the thing which I uh, grasped from here. Thank you. Thank you. Everyone. That's really so sweet of you, Dr. Mm -hmm. uh Thanks for coming in, leaving your kiddo behind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's difficult. Okay, uh, now we'll try and uh, speak to Dr. Sonam. Dr. Sonam is going to start her uh, aesthetic center in Kalyan yes. in a couple of months, I suppose. By April. By April. So with a dermat background, you are going to be doing very good into your practice, I am sure about it. And this could be a icing on the cake. Yes. Yeah. Trust us. yeah. So uh, what do you have to say? So uh, I am a dermatologist and I am been practicing aesthetics since past two years. So I have met a doctor Arun Panda uh, way back and he has always been very generous and uh, informative he never used to feel like this is someone else this is a uh, junior to me so I, I won't share any information with her so he has always been supportive so few days back i came to him uh, showing disinterest in regards to hair transplant but he pushed me a lot and he said that it is honestly a very good procedure that you should be learning so thanks to him that today I am in this center and I have done hair transplant and honestly I am starting to love it. Uh, so yes, thank you so much sir, thank you so much ma'am. The staff over here is very amazing, it's a very stress free environment. You don't feel like any pressure over here and the confidence that uh, I have built after coming over here is something to be commended. Thank you so much, sir. Thank, thank you, you so much and thank you guys for coming in here and joining us for these three days. These three days, I'm sure it's not a huge time to, you know, kind of be uh, master of the subject, but I'm sure this is going to take you to one level from where you can, you know, kind of go ahead. So thank you guys for coming in and I'm very happy and God bless you all. I thank look you. forward to see you guys doing very good into your practice. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you, sir. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much.